everybody knows what personality is, right? Everybody has a personality, but personality psychology is the scientific study of those things about a person that are um, sort of the consistent patterns of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that characterize a person throughout their life. So personality psychologists are interested in understanding the way people are, the, the things about people that are stable throughout their lives, but then also how people change. Personality psychology and social psychology are sister fields, right? We are very similar in a lot of ways. Some people like me have a slash, right? I'm a personality slash social psychologist. But the two areas are different. Um, in a kind of big, broad, conceptual way. Social psychologists look for causes of behavior in the situation, right? They're interested in how does the situation affect what people do. Um, personality psychologists look for the causes of behavior in the person. What are the things about the person that made them behave that way? Um, and so we come at things in a really different way methodologically. Social psychologists are more likely to rely on experiments. Uh, personality psychologists are more likely to use correlational research, more likely to use longitudinal research. And the two fields, the two subfields of psychology, personality and social, I would say, it's safe to say, back in the 60s, they did not get along, right? Pers social psychology really, you know, is very strongly linked up with the civil rights movement. The idea that if we can change a person's situation, we can optimize their lives, right? We can actually change human life forever by making changes to people's situations. Whereas personality psychologists were like, but wait, there are things about a person that they carry with them wherever they go that you can't manipulate in an experiment. They're part of who the person is. Um, and so I would say like back in the 60s or uh, late 60s, early 70s, maybe even into the 80s, there was a lot more tension between the two fields. And I think now people really on both sides see that both, uh, both conceptualizations are important, both types of methodology are important, and uh, I think you see a lot more people with the slash these days. People do care about personality psychology. There's no reason for it. Everyone does it every day. We are all personality psychologists. Go on social media, fill out some questionnaire to find out what your personality is, right? People should be interested in personality psychology because it's about each other. It's about the most important thing in our world, which is other people. The critical questions for personality psychology include what are the units we should use to understand personality? Should we be studying traits? Should we be studying motives? Maybe we should be thinking about more smaller characteristics like expectancies that people have. I think another critical issue in personality psychology is the way that personality predicts behavior, or I should say when personality predicts behavior, and how personality changes over time. I think those are big ones. Maybe how personality um, relates to physical health as well. What is the future of personality psychology? I think personality psychologists have become more and more, are getting closer and closer to asking questions um, that are classic questions in our field, but in really sophisticated ways. So we've always wanted to know what is the structure of personality, right? We've always wanted to know what kind of units we should employ. But now people are looking at those things in really different ways integrating things like uh, brain imaging or social media usage, right? Actually having people walk around with a, um, a microphone that turns on and off. So we're literally getting little scoops of their behavior throughout the day. So I think methodologically, uh, personality psychology is in a, has gone in a direction towards figuring out how we could actually answer some of the classic questions that we've always been interested in. When I knew that I was going to become a psychologist, I knew I wanted to be a personality psychologist because I really, I enjoy learning about like the, the, all the different ways that people have sort of good lives, everyday people.